Okay. Because we have not been able to exercise him the way we want to outside because of his fear of aggression. Okay. Um, he also is very, we have a lot of anxiety when he's separated from her. I see that. Okay. He does a little better with anxiety separation with me. He can let me go easier than he can hurt. He's four. He's four and a half. He'll be five in October. Okay. Hello, I'm Tom. Hi. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. I've seen you all many times on your videos. <laughs> cool. Um, okay. And this is Skippy and John. And this is Skippy. <laughs> Skippy John. <laughs> you uh, can go over there and just sit down sit. with Skippy John. Cool. Sit. Will you sit for me? Will you sit? I know. Lots of new actions. Sam, sit. Hey. Focus, and that's another thing too. I have difficulty getting. Him. Just do, yeah, do your thing. I want to see where you guys are at. Sit. Hey, bud. Sit. 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 Sam. Sam. Sit. Hey. Okay. Have you done training before? Yes. So he went to We had a very bad experience. I don't know exactly what happened, but he came back with open lacerations on his neck. Um, okay. So at first we thought it might have been an allergic reaction to the E-collar prongs. Um, so we switched him out to have those to be. Okay. I'm going to just dive right in. Okay, so yep. let, let me just get some stuff together. Taylor, in this, in this situation, I want to just dive right in because this is all, half of it is him, half of it is you. Um, so let me figure him out quick okay. and then the process will be working with you because okay. there is a lot of stress and anxiety involved yeah. with what's going on. Um, so I want to get, because right now, look, he's yeah. crazy, which is why you're here, right? Yep. Uh, so it's not a terrible thing because you're getting help. But I want to dive right in with him quick. Um, he's too big of a dog. To not be able to control. To not be able to control, exactly. Um, and we're definitely not going to want to, like, obviously depend on that harness because yeah. he's going to get into a nasty altercation yeah. if that happens. Well, and he's recently, as in, like, literally last week, I had my hand x-rayed because I thought he, he pulled me down and I yeah. broke my hand. He broke her nose, drug her four feet. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's more for not only our safety, but his safety as well. Thanks, Taylor. Okay, cool. So I'm just gonna pop this on really quick. Okay. That big guy. Hold on one second. Hey, 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 sit. Good. Good. So you can sit down for a second and just let me work with him. I just don't want him to, fo I want him to focus on me. Shh. Fooey. Okay. I'm not so much worried about his obedience, I'm worried about his mental state of mind. Obviously, it's not in a good place. It's the first thing I want to work on. Good. Good. Ah, ah. Sit. Good. All right, so we're going to take all this other stuff off because it's not necessary and it just gets in the way. So you get, from start to finish, it was a less than a minute, maybe 30 to 45 second change. Immediately, right? I, I can't explain to you how crucial it is to have something like this. I mean, it, it immediately takes him from, I don't know what the hell to do, please help me, to thank you, God. Just like that. So, um, but that also, there also is, you know, handling involved with making that work. It's not just put this on and the dog is calm. It's, so there's a lot of anxiety that is created from, directly from you. 
that we have to work on. Yes. Um, because as soon as I took the leash and got him under control, done. So I'm gonna work with him for a little bit. Um, what commands does he know? All right, so I'm just gonna work with him um, to get him engaged with me so he knows that I'm gonna help him out. My right, bud. Were they in German or English commands? Predominantly English. We've started okay, heel. Good. Heel. Good. 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 Sit. Good. Good. Heel. Yeah. Good. Good. Yeah, that sucks. We hear those stories a lot. Sit. Good, man. good job, buddy. What a good boy. What a good boy you are. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Heel. Good man. Yeah. Good man. Yep. Yep. Ah. Sit. <gasps> good sit, big man. Ah, sit. Good man. There's my good boy. Good boy. Uh -uh. Good. Heel. Good man. Come on. Good man. Good man. Ah uh ah. -uh. Good. Heel. Heel. Come on. Good boy. Come on. Good boy. Good man. Ah, ah, ah. Let's go. Good boy. Sit. Good man. Good sit. Okay. He's done. Got him figured out. Now we just got to work with you guys and see what's going on. Do you have any questions? Got it. Um, and we well, again, like uh, a lot of this is your relationship. And then the other part of that is just the, the training that you're doing with him isn't doing any of you any good. So you got two things that normally you should be working on and you're, just, you're not yet. So that's what we're going to start with. But a lot of this is we can't, we can't think about, we can't talk about what the neighbors and what the upstairs, we, none of that matters yep. because that's, uh, that's always going to happen. Yep. So that's your... Yep, you're gonna see that 15 more times in your life at yeah. least. So you have to not so much stress yourself out about they did this and they did that. That's gonna happen unless you sit inside all day and obviously that's not gonna do you any good. So what we need to work on is your relationship with the dog to help them feel like they don't have to do this stuff in general. And then if the opportunity arises or the situation arises that this could potentially negatively be a situation, then you need to have the most control. Where right now, don't. you don't have the relationship and you don't have the control. Well, it, it's what I'm seeing the most that I would be immediately working on is his anxiety because he's not happy. So the aggression, any dog can be aggressive. And if you get a dog that is a working dog or a working line dog, then they just need more work. They need more outlet. <clears throat> you have a really athletic person, you can't sit him in a room all day. That's what you got. So it's, it's not so much, again, I don't, want, I, I, I don't wanna point fingers at other things. I wanna really start working on your relationship and developing a better relationship because you guys should be the pinnacle of what matters and what doesn't and what's good and what's bad. Whether you move or you don't move or there's pugs or there's other dogs or there's crazy people with retractables, that's not gonna change. So you have to change your relationship with the dog. Okay? That's what we're going to work on. There's going to be, I'm going to have to help you develop a better relationship. What to say, what not to say, what to do, what not to do. Because as you can see, like he doesn't, him and I are good. I could bring him, I, I would feel very comfortable bringing him places. I'm not going to feel comfortable people approaching him, but that's life. 
Yeah. That's just with any dog. I mean, no, nobody should go approach a dog you don't know, but that's the society we live in. So I want to help you guys create a better relationship because that's the cause to all of this anxiety and stress and reactivity and protective stuff. We want to be good humans to him. Too. Right. Because he deserves right. it. He right. Deserves right. So we just have to hit reset. You'll have to uh, take everything I, I say, not as a, as a negative thing that you guys are doing, but just now we're gonna turn the page. We're gonna turn on the good stuff and just start washing away the bad stuff, okay? So that's my, that's my job, is I'm really not a trainer, because if I was a trainer, he'd be, you guys would be gone. He's done, he's trained. Yeah, that's kind of what we experienced before. Yeah. He now has obedience training. Right, right, yeah, and so, as soon as I transferred the leash to me and just corrected him once, he literally just laid down. Like he was like, okay, sorry, and? And so what we have to do is we have to create, yeah, yeah, all, all this stuff plays a role. Um, when you have it, I was just talking about this with my out of state from Ohio. They just left when you guys came in. They, they worked with a, a particular training company that was avoidance and distraction. So they would take a scenario that they thought would be not good and then they would use turkey and distract the dog away. I would suggest that for anybody who says, I can't handle this situation, this could be bad. Do it, go away. But don't expect your dog to get over the things that they're dealing with. And so that's where they came and to that's what us. We've been doing yeah. That when I see other walkers, animals, anything approaching us either way, we go and we avoid it. There's nothing, I yeah. You should. That's a really responsible thing for you to do. Anybody that can't control a situation with their dogs or other people should avoid the situation because no training is better than bad training. So if you set yourself up for failure, it's going to be a big problem. But you coming here, traveling from, where are you guys from? West Virginia or Virginia? Or d out of the D.C. area? Um, you guys coming here and spend the next couple of days with me, my goal is to crash course you on why these things are happening.